This is Chris Albert, and I'm here to remind you of one thing. Someday, you're going to die. Now, that's not some morbid statement or scary idea. It's a solid fact. Your time here on this earth is limited. And you need to be reminded of this as much as possible for one simple reason. To live your best life while you can. This is the Warrior Soul Podcast. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Warrior Soul Podcast. This is Chris Albert, and it is 5.30 on a Tuesday. I am sitting here recording this episode, and I already woke up. I got my workout in today, and I am ready for my day. Now, what I want to talk about today, and I'm, I'm not just showing off there, the, the big thing I'm going to try and slam home today is that you know we are a week out since the start of 2019 right now. And I know that there's a lot of you, you went back to work this week and the kids went back to school and you got busy and a lot of your New Year's resolutions went out the window. And what I want to talk to you about today is how to excel in a world that's constantly calling you back to average. Now, here's the thing. I understand you're busy. I'm busy too. I've got things lined up today all the way up until about 8 p.m. I knew I wasn't going to be able to train tonight. I knew that I wasn't going to find time to train over lunch today. So that's why I'm up this early doing what I'm doing. And for you, I understand the fact that you might want to lie in bed as long as you can to savor whatever sleep you can get. I understand that you're tired. I understand that your energy is low. But I want to tell you this. The remedy to that low energy, the remedy to that low brain state, the the thing that can fix all of this is just by getting out there and doing something physical. It will make you feel better. Your body is a virtual pharmacy of positive, happy chemicals when you're doing physical activity. When that physical activity, while it's going on, it might suck. While you're doing that run or while you're grinding out a set at the gym, it might suck. But afterwards, you're going to feel like a million dollars. You're going to feel so good. And what you have to do in order to get past All of the other crap that's in your brain telling you that you shouldn't be working out right now, that you don't have time, that you don't have the energy, you have to become addicted to that feeling, that feeling of accomplishing something, that feeling of waking up, going out there, breaking out a sweat, experiencing the pump, experiencing the elation, the the raised heartbeat becoming addicted to that feeling that happens afterwards when you're done and you look back on those hours or those minutes with a sense of accomplishment. That's what I'm addicted to. That's what gets me up in the morning. That's what makes me enthusiastic to get up at four in the morning. It's because I'm addicted to that feeling of accomplishment. And I know that if I sleep in, to 536 and I head off to the office without having gotten my physical activity in, I'm going to feel a little bit angry that day. You know, my positivity isn't going to infect everything that I do. My conversations with people, they'll be a little bit more tense because I didn't get a chance to take care of myself and my itch to do physical activity that day. And whatever it is you're doing, and this is true not just of training, but also anything else you're trying to do for yourself, if you're trying to start a business, if you've got a hobby that you love, seize those hours that you do have freedom in. For me, that's 4 a.m. because nobody else I know is awake. And 
I can go, I can train, I can do this podcast before I have anybody else in the world that's ever going to bother me. This gives me two to three hours of peace every single morning to do what I want to do. You can find that too. There's hours in your day, whether it's early in the morning or toward the evening after the kids go to bed, that you can find just a couple of hours to do what you need to do to be you. For most of us, it's going to be in the morning because you guys work all day and then you come home and you're, you're going to be low energy. But these early hours, it's, it's really a beautiful thing when you can look at the sunrise and know that you've already, already accomplished something. So that's my big take for today. Uh, get out there, do something. Do something. Don't allow yourself to fall into that mentality that says that, you know, training is not important or taking care of your body is not important right now. You need to be doing it because it's going to make you better at your business, better at your career, better as a parent, better as a husband, better at every single thing you do. It's going to make you love yourself more. It's going to make you, it's going to put you in a better mood whenever you're talking with people. It's going to make you more likable. All of these things are so important to allowing you to accomplish what you want to accomplish in this life. I want to thank you guys for listening to this very quick Fitness Notes edition of the Warrior Soul podcast. Just want to mention that this podcast is sponsored by F Bomb Nutrition. They make awesome, delicious packets of fats. They make awesome macadamia nut butters. Amazing, amazing macadamia nut butters mixed up with chocolate, with sea salt, with pecan butter. They're so delicious. They also got these cheese crisps. Those things are really good. They provide a really tasty snack. You can get yours by heading over to www.dropinfbomb.com. And when you use the code WARRIORSOUL at checkout, you'll get 20% off of your first order. With that, we'll be back at you on Friday with this week's edition of Warrior Notes.